Hey everybody, Ben here from the Bonehead Podcast and welcome to Star Player Spotlight. We're looking at all the star players that have been spoiled in the Blood Bowl 2020 rulebook. We're looking at their stats, their skills, their teams and their fancy new special abilities. We've got an interesting one for you today. We've got Rumbelow Sheepskin who has yet not received a proper miniature from Games Workshop. We've seen a lot of cool conversions out there in the community. Um, but the, the, the news is that if he's in the Blood Bowl 2020 rulebook, and there's only a few stars that don't have models. Are we going to see a Rumbelow Sheepskin miniature soon? That could be cool. And in preparation for that, let's have a look at what he can bring to your team. And which team exactly? So he has got several skills. He's got... Um, who does he play for? Uh, Halfling, Thimble Cup, Old World Classic, and World's Edge Super League. So you can take him on your Dwarf team, your Halfling team. Now, he landed as a Halfling star player when their Spike magazine came out. Again, hasn't had a miniature, but then neither have the trees. Uh, also, your Human, Imperial Nobility, Ogre, and Old World Alliance teams can be taken. So your classic kind of good teams, your lawful teams, but not elves. So they can all run this little dude. Let's look at what he does. So the biggest strength to this guy, before you look at anything else, is the fact he's only 170,000. So those of you that have watched the Halfling team, like starting team uh, video, you'll know that they can end up with a load of petty cash. Historically, that's been to take a Master Chef and Deep Root, so around about 400k. When you're looking at that amount of cash, what you can start doing is put together lists where you take more other stuff and have someone cheap like Rumbelow in there or Carla. So Rumbelow landed as like another alternative to taking the big guy. You could take two little guys instead and he will fill that one of that little guy element. Um, so Rumbelow Sheepskin is movement six, strength three, agility three plus, passing nothing at all. Um, and he's got the no hand skill as well. And the reason for that is because he is desperately holding on to his mount because he's riding around on a ram um, and armor value eight plus. None of that is amazing. That is basically a human lineman with no hands. No, human linemen have better armor. All right, it's a slow skaven with no hands. But on a halfling team or an ogre team, that is quite useful. That is a bit of a buff. That does allow your little guys to stay alive a little bit longer. But the skills are where this guy gets interesting. So block, strength three block. Horns, Juggernaut. So this guy's blitzing at strength four with the block skill. That's what makes him so useful. It's for 170k. You get a movement six strength four blocker for 170. So it's a bargain bin. Zara. No, Zara's gone. Carla. It's a bargain bin Carla for defense. And although it comes with a no hand skill, so you can do nothing with regards to ball handling comes with tackle and thick skull so that thick skull is going to keep him on the pitch a little bit longer tackle so he is like the ultimate halfling safety he's only movement six and he's only strength four if he's blitzing but if he is blitzing we've got juggernaut we've got block we've got tackle you can really use him to guard your your backfield or if you're offensive minded and you want to be rushing around with any team he makes a pretty good blitzer to be honest with you and that is for for any team because that block horns jugs is going to make him really effective and having a tackle piece as some of you would have seen um in which game was it yep dwarves versus goblins <sighs> tackle versus anybody with dodge especially at strength four when you're blitzing this guy is going to be uh removing people and that it quickly makes up for the 170k mark because in a league for example it's not your money anyway. So for a, a you just get free rolled a block tackle dude that can blitz at strength four. That's fantastic. If you're going to build around him in a tournament, you can get better for less than 50k. Okay, Carla is fantastic. But if you don't have that much to play with and you're in a league environment and you want that tackle, this guy is looking pretty good. Now, he does have a special ability ram, hence the little emoticon. Let's have a look at what that does. Once per game, when an opposition player is knocked down as a result of a block action performed by Rumbelow, you may apply an additional plus one modifier to either armor or injury. Uh, this modifier may be applied after the roll has been made. Okay, so not only is this bargain star player blitzing around with block and tackle and jugs at strength four, 
he gets mighty blow once per game as well. <laughs> so if you are playing in a stunty environment, Rumbelow is an absolute boss. He's going to give you a strength 4 tackle. Mighty blow once per game, fine. But still, that advantageous little boost is huge. And I cannot strike. Just tackle when you're in a dodge environment is insane. And this guy bringing that makes him a really useful piece of toolkit for your team. The downside is if you want to run him, you're going to have to kit bash something together. Or, I found one model from Hungry Troll that I really like the look of. Let's have a look. Now, this little guy is called Rampage, Halfling Goat. So, €9.50 Euros from Hungry Troll. And it is the star player. It is the absolute star player. We've got a Halfling riding around on a ram. We've got horns. We've got some Blood Bowl armor. It is not the best sculpt in the world, but it will fit in brilliantly with your Halfling team. And it's just a really individual model to be able to run um, on anything else. Now, I, I, I don't know what else to suggest. You can get some of the Halfling Goat Riders from uh, Warlord Games and do a bit of conversion. But the Halflings are smaller than the Blood Bowl ones. So Ian Warhanam Warhanam is working on one, or was working on one. Um, so it'll be interesting to see if he finishes that off and how it looks in the end. But if you just want to buy a model to represent Rumbelow to get him on the pitch, Hungry Troll will have you kick in in a week or so. So to wrap up with Rumbelow, 170k is pretty affordable as far as it comes from star players. We've always asked, is it better than a wizard? And actually, you get this guy for the whole game. You get a block, tackle, strength 4 on the blitz guy, which can be really useful for your stunty teams. And it's not a bad pickup for um, one of your tier 2 or tier 3 teams as well. If you think about it, when you get to that point, there's not a... What do you take? I take a keg and an extra reroll, just to make my team perform better. Well, now you've got an option here of another player who, I'll admit, has no hands, which is going to suffer a little bit. But you get a reasonable safety and an opportunity there to just punch holes where you need them and have a really cool star player, really cool fluffy star player. So I'm a big fan of Rumbler Sheepskin. I really am looking forward to seeing what Games Workshop does with the model. But for now, I'm quite happy with that Hungry Troll one. And if I ever... Well, this is it. Historically, it was if I ever take Halflings. Now, it's if I take any of these teams and I need 170k, the tournament lists, the league lists... They get way more interesting. Anyway, that will wrap up Rumbelow Sheepskin. Let me know in the comments below what you think of this little guy, if you're going to be running him. And um, yeah, we'll be back again soon for another Star Player Spotlight.